Canario open. Fires a three and goes in and out. And here's De Ocampo dancing inside, and the basket is good, and uh, landed it now with four points. Well, he and Daniels, both big men, have the eight points of the top Tropan Texas. Alaska only has seven. Simpson has yet to score here, but a nice drive to the basket, although it may look awkward at times. Still uh, trying to finish and did get a foul. Well, nothing awkward about that uh, critical shot he made in the dying seconds of uh, game number five last Sunday. Well, for Alaska Aces uh, fans, they would love to see that again. For Inebra, they would like to bury that in history, <laughs> the fans. But I think we will have the opportunity to show that again to uh, our televiewers later on. In the meantime, let's send you over to Senor Domingo L. Focus the game. Dominico. Thank you, Miko. If uh, Coach Tim had his own set, Coach Trot has his own set. In terms of possessions, he wants to increase the possessions. He wants to speed up and run the tempo, take advantage of their quickness. And of course, he talked about rhythm as well. And he said, you know, he's got to get Alaska out of the rhythm. Basically play high-octane basketball, which is TNT ball. I agree with that. Uh, if I look at the first four minutes and a half of this game. I don't think Tokyo Texas has been pushing the ball the way they can. Uh, they've gone to a lot of sets. It's not that Alaska doesn't come back and play good transition defense, but I think they can still push the ball a little bit harder than they've been doing in the first four and a half minutes. Oh, another interception. Too many turnovers on the part of Alaska. It is Cardona. Despite the challenge of uh, Cyrus Baggio, Cardona scores. You know, Cody will feel bad about that because if a turnover results into points for the opposing team, you've done a bad job. You know? And the runner goes in for LA Tenorio. He has five points in the opening quarter. Dapat siya ang tutor ni Devance. Devance is trying to make that shot earlier, pero hindi niya kaya yung ginagawa ni LA. I tell you, that floater, it's a point guard's weapon. <laughs> Oh, and one turnover here on the other side now against uh, the drop on Texters. Still high scoring at this stage. 12 points already for Top and Tex, 10 for Alaska. Five and a half minutes done by here in the first quarter. It's always interesting, Dr. J, when you have one team that is coming off a very long break and you have another team that is coming off a grueling five game hijack series. series. Yeah, especially the last game. Yeah. And the bats will miss. And do not pass. That's talking text basketball. Yeah, definitely. Jimmy pushing it up. A no look pass to Ranadel. Another no look pass. And Daniels a six in the ball game. All of them on layups. Maybe we should qualify that. It's talking text basketball. People's Fiesta Conference. Because talking text was not like this before. As Simon Simpson scores on a slam dunk. That's a breakdown in defense too, you know. You know where the big guy is going, he's going to the hoop. One thing you always want to protect is the hoop. Here's Cardona getting the handoff, 13 to shoot. Setting up Ranadel. Yes! Now that's his shot. That's 16 footer. He can make that all night. <laughs> you, you, he's you been make, making it all conference. Yeah, so. You give it to him, you make that the whole night, you know. There's only one game in this conference that he did not score in double figures. And they lost that game. That was, I think, after 12 or 13 straight wins, they lost that game. Shot locked down to 8 para sa Alaska. Baguio so far been quiet in this game. Simpson fires. You should not be surprised if they put extra emphasis on defense against Cyrus Baguio. Because Cyrus Baguio is an impact type of player. If you let him score, he gets the crowd in, you know. But you have a lot of fans, whether it be Aces fans or other fans. You still have some of those in Ebra Sprinkling as well as the old Red Bull uh, team. You know? Are you sure? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, the Red Bull, yes. The Red Bull part, yes. In Ebra, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would not assume. <laughs> For the remaining in the opening quarter. Very uh, poor defense on the part of Alaska. I'm sure they're now happy with the, the percentage should be high for uh, top and Tex. This is really a great matchup. Baguio against Cardona. And here's Baguio. Hang time. Daniels will get the top of Texas going here. 
And Cardona with a runner. Twenty fourteen, talking text ahead, back in a moment. I knew I heard something very familiar here in the big dome. I don't know if I, I thought I was being mistaken, but there are Vuvuzelas. Huh? No. Probably heard about it during the World Cup, these long plastic uh, yeah, trumpets. Yeah, yes, we yes. have a couple of uh, those here as Kelly Williams announces his entry with a drive. There are talking text fans that, uh, you know, you can hear it. Oh, man, no. <laughs> it sounds like a uh, 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 buzzing of bees. It's like a buzzing of bees. Horde of bees there. You can hear it in the background. Yeah, and, yeah that, that long contraption, it's called the Vubuzela, uh, which is a very nice way of saying Torotot. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> or that long trumpet. The trumpet. Diba, yung gumawa tayo ng finals, yun naman maganda yung kanilang clappers. No? Uh -huh. Yeah, but polo. the clappers are, are no match for the, the yeah. sound of the Vubuzela, which is... Pero ito, pag linagay mo sabay-sabay na 20-30,000 people, you can't hear it. You can't hear anything. Yeah, you, can't, you can't hear crowd noise. No? So, I think Dominic will try and check it out. Uh, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna borrow it for a while. Play with it. I don't know if he'll play with it, but he'll tell us more about it. Meantime, back to this game. Three and a half remaining to this opening quarter. Simon Simpson with the basketball against Daniels. Now, the advantage niya at the post because Daniels really is a guy that can keep him out of the post. He's not gonna be able to back down Daniels. That's one thing. Ooh. Big run here by the uh, Tropang Texters. They've extended that lead to nine points right now. All of a sudden, just 14 points here for Alaska with Simpson struggling, Baguio struggling. Cross court pass, Tenorio. Tony De La Cruz, short. Very short. So Kelly Williams, the first substitution for talking text. Tony De La Cruz, the first man to come off the Alaska bench. At Labangan talking text, 23-14 in the opening quarter. And an alley-oop para kay Skyros Baggio. A good assist there by Tenorio. No? Tenorio realizing where his teammate was. We haven't been able to score when they've set their half court. Let's go a little bit quicker. It's Jimmy Alapad. That's a three. Man in the can defend that. You know, you thought he was going to pass. He didn't use any screen. All he does is pull up and shoot a three-point shot. And it's back to a ten-point advantage. Paras a talking text. Two minutes remaining in the opening quarter. Baguio over Cardona. Back-to-back -back baskets para kay Baguio. Ito talaga yung when you feel you make a layup or you make a free throw. All of a sudden, mas madali nang pumuntos. It's going to be a foul. Preemptive foul before the actual attempt. L.A. Tenorio picking up his second personal foul. Let's time out muna tayo rito. Labang ng walong putos. Dock and sex. Back inside the Big Dome, the 2010 FIBA World Championships takes place August 29th and September 13th. Featuring France, Spain, Germany, Argentina. And many others exclusively on Solar TV and BTV Witness Team USA pickup where they left off with the USA, the Team USA World Tour happening July 25. That's on Sunday, 11 a.m. on BTV, July 26, 9 a.m. on Solar TV. Well, it's been a long time that Solar has uh, held on to the FIBA World Championships. The first work actually I did for them was the FIBA Championship, not as well as some of the European Championships as well. And that was where, at the time, nakita ko na, you know, he has to be in the NBA, Skola has to be in the NBA, Roberto, the Gasols, you know, Barbosa. You know, you watch the FIBA and you see a lot of players there that should be in the NBA. Even the Greek at that time, si Papalokas, he should be in the NBA, but he's not going to come by anymore. Do you think Ricky Rubio should be in the NBA by now? Not yet, siguro. Not yet. Yeah, well, obviously, his kind of game is entertaining, no? so it's good for the NBA. But I think, you know, 
Magpahasa mo na siya. Pero yun naman biro yung mga kalaban niya. Just like you're saying, if you're a star in the juniors, uh, let's say NCA or UAP, doesn't mean you're going to be a star in the seniors. Kasi iba na laban ng doon. There's a physical issue that the player has to deal with. One minute remaining.